a, a photograph, an old picture of grandma or grandpa. You make oh. it for everybody and yeah. frame it. You no, know, it doesn't right. cost a lot and everybody loves it. You're absolutely right, no doubt. Um, hey, this weekend, this weekend, uh, we're going to break records. It's unusual to be this warm in November. We know that. The other thing, it's unusual to have so many days in a row this warm. It's only happened twice. We're forecasting three more days over 70. That's only happened twice, four consecutive days, 70 or better. 2020 and back in 1931. 77 tomorrow. That would break the record of 75. 64 for a low Saturday night and Sunday morning. 74 close or just breaking the record for Sunday of 73. And Monday still warm at 71. So again, this is something you don't see too often. Um, this weekend, of course, we gain an hour's sleep. We got that extra, in fact, you know, look at it this way. Sunday is the longest day of the year. 20, what, 25 hours? With the clocks going back an hour? Eastern Standard Time begins. Check the batteries in your smoke and CO2 or CO detectors. Make sure they're working. It's something you should always do a couple, two or three times a year, just to be extra safe. 68 in Albany, 63 in Glens Falls, Lake Pleasant at 65, 63 at Pittsfield, Manchester, Hudson at 67. Check in with the uh, News 10 weather watchers tonight. Uh, hard to believe these temperatures up in Hamilton County. Kathy Buxton, 63, Jane Williamson, 63. Uh, she's in Indian Lake. Uh, 65 from Bob Weinfurt in Whitehall. Still picking tomatoes up there. 67 from Jim Delahanty in Hebron. Out to the west, Caroga Lake, 60. That should be 61 in Dwaynesburg. 65 in Ma Mechanicville. Uh, my buddy Tim Beebe down there in Del Mar, he's a big bike rider. He went out for like a 17-mile short bike ride this evening with the beautiful weather. Got his exercise in. Grafton, 61, mid-60s Bennington. Bill Mahone, 64 in Lanesboro. Uh, Steve Appel, 63 at Pittsfield. Don Clark out there in Summit at 60. Wyndham, 61. And we have 64 right now at Hillsdale. Another just amazing day here. Here's all the warmth that goes all the way back into the Great Lakes. So that's why right through the weekend, we're going to have warm weather. This cold front, um, it is going to be moving slowly eastward. As it does so, it's going to be weakening. So by the time it gets here, if it even gets here, to be honest with you, Sunday night, a band of clouds, maybe a brief sprinkle or shower, and that would be it. Futurecast, high pressure off the coast. Here's your Saturday, windy, warm, partly sunny. The cold front slowing down near Buffalo Sunday morning by Sunday evening, still just off to the west of us. And again, just a slight chance there may be a shower, but still a warm day. High tomorrow, 77 in Albany, 78 Johnstown. Basically mid to upper 70s everywhere tomorrow. Uh, Sunday, 74, 75 in Hudson, Bennington, 74 at Saratoga Springs. And Monday, Low 70s in the Hudson Valley, a little bit cooler air up in the Adirondacks, 63 at Lake Pleasant. Wow, right? 56 tonight, tomorrow partly sunny, a gusty wind, a record breaker, 77. Sunday mostly cloudy, 74. Monday partly sunny, breezy, 71. Cool, dry for election day, sunny, 55. 26 at night. Sunny on Wednesday, 52, back to normal. Up to 60 Thursday, Veterans Day mostly cloudy, and a high near 62. John?